This time we're going to do pulsing and we're going to fix up the ball class a little bit. So you want to start from fresh, then you can. I'm going to start from fresh. I'm going to create a new Swift file. I'm going to call it ball.swift. In ball.swift, I'm just going to import sprite kit. And for the class ball, we're going to create a size, which is a CG size. And then we're going to create the node itself, which is going to be an SK shape node. And then we just need to create the constructor, the init method. And in that, we'll create the size, which is a CG size. And we'll allow them to change the color, which is going to be an SK color. And so we'll say self.size is equal to size. This is just the basic ball. Then we're going to create a circle, which is not actually going to be a circle, it's just going to be a definition of a rectangle, but we'll use it to create the circle. So we'll do CG rect make, we'll do 0 minus size dot width divided by 2, 0 dot size 0 minus size dot height divided by 2. For the width, we'll do size dot width, and for the height, we'll do size dot height. After that, we'll say self dot node is equal to a new SK shape node. We'll say self dot node dot path is going to be equal to a new UI path. And we'll do that with oval in rec to create an oval, which is not really going to be an oval. It's going to be a circle. And from that, we need to grab the CG path to add to our nodes path. And then we'll say self dot node dot fill color is going to be equal to the color that they set in here and then we can say self.node.stroke color is going to be equal to nil. So now we have our ball class. If we go into our game view controller, we need just need to set one thing. Right under the initialization of the scene, we can say scene.anchor point is equal to a new CG point make. And we're going to make the anchor point of the scene in the center of the scene. And that's all we really need to do for this. Then we can go over to our game scene and make our pulsing ball. So we'll just create a couple of variables up here. We'll say ball is going to be of type ball. We'll say that the angle is going to be equal to 0, 0.0. We'll say that the center scale is going to be equal to 1.0. We'll say that the range, how far it's going to pulse, is going to be 0 0.5. We'll say um, the ball speed, the speed at which it's going to pulse, is going to be 0 0.1. In the did move view, we'll create our ball. We'll say ball is equal to a new ball. And here we can say the size is going to be equal to a new CG size make. And that's going to be 100 by 100. The color, this needs to be marked as size. I would have code completed it would have worked better but i didn't the color you can make any color you want you just do sk color and you can check out the different colors we'll do purple this time in honor of the color purple and then we'll just add that to the screen we'll say ball dot node now someone pointed out that i could have made the ball inherit directly from an sk shape node and we definitely could have done that but it was more involved and i just wanted to make this as simple as possible we can remove our touches began. And in the update, we'll do the magic. So in the update, really all we need to make this pulse is two lines. So we'll say ball.node.setScale. So this is going to scale the ball on the X and the Y at the same time. We'll do CG float because it needs to, it, the set scale needs to accept a CG float. We'll use the center scale plus, and then we'll use our sign by the angle times the range. And by doing that, we'll create a wave, a sine wave, and we'll do angle. We have to just increase the angle on every frame it is plus equal to B speed. So now because we set the center of the screen to be the anchor point, the ball should be perfectly centered in the screen. And now we can change the size of the ball, unlike last time, and we can make it whatever color we want. So now we get a nice pulsing purple ball there. And of course, you can change different variables. So if we press stop, we can change the speed. Let's change the range uh, instead of 
0 0.5, we change it to 1.0. See what happens there. You can see that it, it pulses at a greater range. And then if we change the range back to 0 0.5 and we change the speed maybe down to 0 0.05 and we run this, you can see that it pulses much slower. But it has a nice kind of easing in and easing out to it because it's a sine wave. And then we could change this to go much faster. We could say 2.0 and run this. You could see that that um, could potentially give someone seizures. So we could make this 0 0.5 to make it just a little bit faster instead of going ridiculously fast. And now you get a, a smoother wave there. So that is pulsing. Let's just change it back to 0 0.1 because that was a nice speed. Thanks a lot.